Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you how to add white noise to your snare tracks using two of Studio One's built-in plugins. If your snare is buried in the mix, this can help bring the attack of the snare forward, or just an interesting way to excite your mix. We will be using the Tone Generator plugin built into Studio One. Anytime you use a tone generator, I suggest turning all of your audio monitoring down in volume considerably first. Some tone generators will blast you with loud sound the moment they are inserted. Okay, so after turning all of your audio monitoring volume down, the first step is to create an effects channel. If you highlight your snare, or in my session, the clap channel, then right click on that channel and select Add Effects Channel, an effects channel will be added to the right. On this new effects channel we just created, insert the Studio One Tone Generator plugin. Under Waveform, select White Noise. On the right side of the Tone Generator, you will see the Tone Generator is off, meaning it's not generating any sound. Leave it off and turn the level all the way down to the left. Now insert the Studio One Expander plugin on the effects channel after the tone generator. Turn on the side chain, unselect duck, and turn the range knob fully to the left. In my example song, I set the attack time to around 6 milliseconds and the release to around 52 milliseconds. Experiment with these settings to find what works for the song. This controls the amount of white noise that will be heard. Flip back to the Tone Generator plugin and turn the level up to negative 12 dB. And now turn the Tone Generator on. Flip back to the Expander plugin so you can see the Expander working when you trigger it from the snare track. From the snare, or in my session, the clap track, Send to the sidechain input of the expander. Now I would typically turn the fader down on the effects channel in the mixer and slowly bring it up to where it adds to the attack of the snare or clap, but doesn't overpower it. Usually a balance where you don't notice the white noise until you mute the channel is what you want. This is usually a very small sweet spot. Normally this is a less is more type of effect. Again, experiment with different attack and release times of the expander. Sometimes you want the white noise a little longer or a little shorter, usually dependent on the tempo of the song. Okay, so let's hear the track now with the white noise fader down. I'll bring it up a little too loud just to hear it too loud, then set it back in a more realistic usable setting and mute the white noise channel on and off to demonstrate what it adds to the mix. Using white noise to enhance a snare track is a fun trick, and Studio One makes this very easy with built-in plugins. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Now go make some great music.